Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, and this is my son Ben. And today we have the newest bottle of Highland Park. It's called the Wellfather. And you're specialist in Nordic yeah. mythology. The <laughs> specialist. <laughs> I just had the uh, distributor here, uh -huh. uh, the producers, and they told us the story. And it's part of the series. You might have already known the Valkyrie and the Waldnut. The Valkyrie is the angel of death in the uh, Viking mythology. But it's not a bad angel of death that goes down and kills uh, anybody. But they go down and they harvest the souls of the fallen soldiers. So when a Viking dies in battle, the Valkyrie comes down, takes his soul and brings it to Odin himself. And um, they only bring the elite soldiers to Odin to fight in the army of Odin and they prepare for the last battle of Ragnarok. So, so the battle I think is called Ragnarok or the Armageddon is called Ragnarok. And how do these Valkyries know which soldiers are the elite? Um, actually there is a, a sign, it's called the Valknut. Um, we had the Volknut last time, it's this special sign, and only the elite soldiers get these Volknut tattooed for bravery or strength. Or so the uh, earthbound people, Vikings, decide which are the good ones, tattoo them, and then <laughs> they can place the soldier at the table of Odin. Yeah, kind yeah. of like that. Mm -hmm. And Odin, the Valfather, is um, not just like the god of Sorry, gods. Sorry, if you tattoo yourself with it. I'm not quite sure <laughs> no. if, if that's cool, but, but I think the Valkyrie knows, okay. <laughs> probably, or something like that. Um, the Valfather is not just like the god of gods, the, the, the leader of the gods, um, Odin, but he's also Valfather means father of the slain. So he, he is the, the embodiment of the, died, uh, the dead soldiers and he collects them all to serve in his army. So it's kind of also the, the god of death then. In, in a way. Um, so yeah, so this one is then the last of the series and hopefully the best. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, the, the design of this bottle with this, you know, what's, what's called a freeze, uh, is done by a Danish. He's called Jim Ligwilt and he's a Viking himself and he can count himself down 36 generations to the king of the Orkney Islands, which were then uh, owned by the Vikings and the Picts from Scotland, they had nothing to say <laughs> on the seas. And uh, he now lives on a castle on the island of Fyr in Denmark mm -hmm. and it's called For Forborg. Forborg. Uh, with an A and, and a, a circle mm -hmm. on top of it, or. <laughs> and uh, well, they're not able to write it correctly, so they make it double A. <laughs> so, yeah. That's it. Mm -hmm. um, I like the, the, the Vikings and there are legends of the Vikings. The Vikings couldn't quite write, so they, they only had runes, which kind of meant stuff, but one rune meant one word, so the, the, the stories are not very accurate. But uh, there is like the story where they found uh, Iceland, where they found uh, Greenland, and that was kind of an independence movement. And they find... And then they even went on and they actually found Vinland. And when you look back, then Vinland is actually the American continent, which we, we, we call now America. Uh, the new continent. They, they found um, uh, uh, residues of, of the old settlement. Yeah, they found residues of the old settlement and they have the, this tale, which is also in runic written down. But the, the, uh, the Vikings lost against the inhabitants, so mm -hmm. they had to abandon the settlement. And uh, later then, what was it, the, the Portuguese guy? The, uh, no, no, it was an Italian, and Italian? for the Spanish called Columbus. Colum Columbus, <laughs> yeah. And he called the continent America and now they celebrate Columbus Day. I think uh, they call us Germans. We don't call ourselves Germans anymore, so we call ourselves Deutsch. Maybe we should call the Americans by their old name as well, so we should call them Vinlander. <laughs> <laughs> United <laughs> States of Vinland. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just to be fair, they, call, they don't call us Deutsch, they call us German. <laughs> I don't call myself German. From the tribe but of the, the Germans. 
from the type, tribe of the German. <laughs> if you think of a German, you, I, I think of a German when I hear, hear German, I hear, think of a, a very big, muscly, hairy dude with a really big axe who says only a dead Roman is a good Roman. <laughs> that's, that's what I imagine German to be. <laughs> Not far away from you. <laughs> I like Romans. I know a few Romans. <laughs> okay. Smoky. Smoky, yeah. Yeah, really. Smoky, a little bit of vanilla coming through. And this is a friendly smokiness. Mm -hmm. I typically call those phenolic ones, those stinky ones. And th this is a friendly smoky one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It takes quite a while. <laughs> Go it's, on. <laughs> it's quite a, a remarkable um, smell. Early in the German take, you, you estimated the PPM on, what mm -hmm. was it, 25? 25, around 25. I would say even a bit more now in the second taste, it's a bit more intense and it's a strange uh, smoky smell because it's something between phenolic and bonfire mm -hmm. and it's there's not that stinky yeah. not that stinky for highland park it's really uh yeah. smoky it's but for a, a let's say a really peaty smoky whiskey it's it's light it's medium light. It's medium light, light yeah. yeah but i so, like it it's yeah. it's interesting it's really and there's more uh, more in it, like apples, pears, little sweetness. And the specialty from this bottling is it is completely in refill casks, probably hogsheads or ex bourbon casks, but all refill. So you do not have this intense vanilla caramel note in it, so that the distillery character, the light fruitiness, is, is better moving in. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. First, fruitiness, juiciness, then more intense, and it's like a cedar wood, aromatic wood in it, and the the smoke is, is covering my tongue, the inside of my mouth. Yeah, really. So this is hefty. This is a younger whiskey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's really smoky for a, for a Highland Park. Mm. And yeah, you have a bit of a, a red apple, which is very slightly. And then you have a lot of smoke. And this is... Yeah, in the smell, it's uh, in the taste, it's more of a, what do you call it, a ham smoke. It's not, I don't think it's that aromatic. Mm. Mm, you have some different? No, no. Oh, and I have uh, also what you said, the, the wood. Not quite sure. I can't remember what cedar wood tastes that much like, but it's definitely some, I would have just put it in the oak, <laughs> oak side, but maybe it's something... Yeah, something it, different. It's not that much oak in it because they are reused casks. Mm -hmm. And they're definitely not European oak, but American oak. Mm -hmm. uh, Wallander oak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Quite a good one. But from the pricing, it's around uh, 65, 70, wherever you live. And it has no age statement, but has 47% ABV, is mm -hmm. uncolored, so it shows quality mm -hmm. uh, and a good name and a good story. So the price might be, yeah. Do, do you know what, okay. what Vindland means? Uh, land of the wind? No, Vin is uh, trees. Trees. So ah. it's tree land oak. <laughs> 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 okay. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, watch out for the Highland Park Valfather. It's the end of the uh, Viking Pride series, but I bet they still have something in uh, store. So <laughs> we will see the next series coming up next year. So, yeah. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.